are back with another video. Um, this one is going to be very similar to ones I've done in the past. This is another Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. And no surprise, it is a denim box. This is my third one. This is the 15 pound one. And so I got this last week on May 19th. I got a few rescue boxes because it was my birthday that week and I thought I would test out my luck. I was only gonna get one of the denim ones but I really wanted the 30 pound one, but I didn't want them to like not post them again and I miss it. So I got a 15 pound one and then on my actual birthday, I got a 30 pound one. So this box is coming from Pennsylvania. Uh, it took, today is May 29th, so it took 10 days about to get to me. Okay, hopefully the lighting is not too terrible. I do apologize. This is usually where I get my lights from, um, but this is really the only space I could stand and film without a whole bunch of junk in the background. I'm gonna try and go through this pretty quickly. Um, I think this box with shipping cost $29.99. Not sure if I said, but this box came from Pennsylvania. If you saw my thread up online arbitrage video, I ordered two pairs of jeans. One was Everlane, uh, one was Lagance. I don't know if that's how you say it, <laughs> um, but two pretty expensive pairs of jeans and they both shipped out of Pennsylvania, so hopefully that means they keep their good jeans there. <laughs> All right. Oh wow, so right off the bat, we got this really pretty chambray, I think that's how you say it, um, blouse. With these like fun little elasticated sleeves, like a peasant blouse with this fun, not fringe, but ruffle front. It's button closures. And it is a size large from free people, guys. Wow, way to start off the box good. I'm... All right, so now we've got a pair of H&M and denim skinny jeans. It says low waist, which is, we all know, not great. There is some distressing, like just like, oh, there's a stain also. So I could probably wash that out. Oh, 27. They seem a little big to be a 27 to me, but... Okay, so we got a jean jacket. This one kind of smells a little old, <laughs> like a consignment store. So this lighting is so bad. I'm so sorry. Should I switch where I'm doing this? <sighs> hey guys, so I switched where I was because that lighting was awful. <laughs> um, but this is like a blazer, denim, and tailor three button jacket. This is cute. Seems to be in pretty good condition. Um, it seems to have all the buttons. And tailor size too. <laughs> yeah, but this is cute. Um, I don't think I've ever tried to sell it in Taylor before. All right, so now we got a J. Jill tried and true size four, like midwash jean. I don't know where J. Jill sold. This does seem to have quite a bit of pulling. Um, not so much in the front of the jean, it looks like. But there are a few stains. Um, and they are like a boot cut. I don't know if you guys can see the stains. They're hard to see, but they're little. And there's some like runs in it. I guess that's what I'd call it. And the seat of it just seems to have wear. So um, maybe I'll try. Usually I do pretty well selling cheap jeans on Mercari. Um, so I'll think about that. All right, so we got a pair of white jeans. And besides kids jeans, like I generally take them white jeans because every pair of white jeans I've gotten in one of these boxes has just like had so many stains. <laughs> but these are Lucky Brand. So not awful, size zero, skinny, that's nice. Uh, they seem to be like mid to high rise. Uh, at first glance, I don't see any stains. I feel like, oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, looks like this. There's like yellow, like a yellow-ish brown stain on the knee. I will try and get the stain out of them, but if not, I'll just sell them as is. All right, <laughs> what a throwback. I got a pair of Arab Postal jeans. I used to say air postal, so I don't really know how you pronounce them. Are these jeans? Do these are these still in business? Back air postal things worn off. 
These kind of look like boy strings to me, but maybe that's just a boyfriend jean. Straight leg, distressed. These also have stains all up in the front. <laughs> like this everywhere. Size 29. They're not like the worst, but they are very stained. All right, so we got a pair of Old Navy Rockstar jeans. Um, off the bat, I'd say they're not like the worst thing to get. These are skinny black, size eight short. I was gonna say they seem pretty short, um, but there are like loose strings and just a whole bunch of pulling in the front. Yeah, if you could see that. So these will probably be a no. If these were my size, I'd probably keep them because they're nice and soft and stretchy. All right, so we got A and A, which I think stands for and a new approach. Like stains on them. And like these aren't like the biggest of deals. I could probably get them out, but I don't know. I've just never had a denim box with so many problems, I guess. I don't know. Size four. Uh, they're like a gray wash. They're cute. They're skinny. They seem to be high rise. Um, they have like these fun back pocket stitches. I think this is a pair of overalls, guys. I've never found a pair of overalls. These are fun. Another stain. You guys probably think I'm crazy. So this is like a navy blue. Um, it feels like a very soft, suede material. They're from Hollister. And they're a size extra small. So pretty tiny, which isn't great, but... I don't actually have that hard of a time selling extra small. I've never gotten overalls and I've never sold overalls, so I'm excited to try. Oh, these look really cute. <laughs> these look like my jeans. I don't think if you could tell, but I just got these jeans at Costco and they have like these blue and white stripes. And these have those blue and white stripes. Um, so this is a pair of Express jeans. And these are actually really, really cute. I don't know how well Express jeans do. Or express for that matter. A bit of pulling in the front. They're not that bad and I just really 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 like this design. They have these like this gold like zipper pocket. They're skinny. Hopefully they're high rise. They're ankle leggings. Stella low rise. Meh. Too regular though. And to me this doesn't really look low rise. Some like low rise are very low rise like seven inches or lower. But to me, anything that's like eight inches could be considered mid-rise. All right, another pair of white denim. Another like yellow stain. <laughs> uh, like right by the knee. So these are from The Limited. I've never sold this brand. Um, they're cute, they're stretchy, and they're white. I do think this is probably the time for white jeans. So this is size zero. So another thing I'm noticing about this box is that the sizes are very small. And that usually never happens to me, at least with my denim boxes. Mm, this is so cute. So I don't know how vintage you can consider this, but um, this is from Brass Plum and Brass Plum Nordstrom. So that brand at Nordstrom BP, that stands for Brass Plum. And so I don't know, I don't know how vintage you can call, call this, but even like the label looks pretty vintage. If you know, let me know. It's a size five, so a junior size. Um, but something I've mentioned before in my denim boxes is I don't list things by the junior size. Like I'll still call this a woman's item and I'll measure this waistband and just put that as the size. It's like, this is super cute. I love, love this skirt. This is gonna do really well. Uh, vintage stuff does pretty well on Etsy, and I've sold things on Etsy before, but I've sort of given up on it. All right, we got a pair of H&M size 12 stretchy shorts. These seem kind of big to be a size 12. They might be like a boyfriend style. H&M doesn't really say. Um, I actually don't do that poorly selling, like for 21 shorts and H&M shorts. I'll definitely try and sell these on Mercari. All right, we got a new tags. I kid you not when I tell you that I've tried to get this brand of jeans like online, like online arbitrage so many times, but they're all just like too expensive for me to try and resell. So first of all, ThreadUp tried to sell it. That's their tag, but this is new with tag. Oh, that's why. 
Okay. Let's, uh, let's bring our joy back in for a second. So these are the pants. As you can tell, there's something missing here. And that something is a button. But these jeans are gorgeous. Skinny, tall. Got that back thing. They are technically new with tags, but who knows how that button thing happened. Made from 100% recycled paper. Originally $118. Reformation jeans. Now that button thing is probably going to be an issue. <laughs> and they're a size 29. But I'll figure something out. <laughs> Look how cute. If you guys have any tips about that button thing, let me know below. Okay, then we got a pair of Seven for All Mankind gray skinny jeans. And they have this like sort of bunching bleaching thing that I don't know if that's intentional. They have it on top too. And as you can see, like the top's just sort of like wonky. Um, I might try and sell these over on Mercari. Size 24. So these are pretty tiny. Again, a lot of really small sizes in my box. Okay. I think there's one pair after this. These are a Lee. Oh, these are cute. Like kind of looking like a mom jean. They're pretty thin. Um, and it seems to have a lot of wear sort of in the back. You can just feel it's thinner. Size four, petite. Lee relaxed. Um, we'll see. I'll see about this. I don't know. I mean, I'll have everything listed on Poshmark, but some things just really do happen to do better with me on Mercari. Alright, so now we got another jean jacket. And I know this doesn't say Armani, but that's what it's... I don't know how else you pronounce that. Armani? Or is that Armani? Am I going to be like, shocked when I look this up later? It's like a little tiny jean jacket. It's a size extra small. Tiny. It's a nice color. It's like a distressed kind of blue. The elbow does have a hole in it. But it's part of the distressed look. I really don't mind because um, the other elbow kind of matches. All right. So that was all the things in my box. I've Let me try to count. All right. So I think I've got about 17 items in this box. So less than $2 per item, which is great, especially because there's definitely some things in here that I won't be reselling. Um, but this box was pretty good. I don't really know <laughs> what to say about it. There were definitely some things like that first pull, the Free People shirt, great love. <laughs> this is denim skirt. I think this is super cute. Um, maybe an Armani jacket. <laughs> the new with tags button issue reformation jeans. I mean, ThreadUp thought they could sell it. I wonder how much they were trying to sell it for. But yeah, there is definitely, like I said, a lot of things with stains in this box, which maybe I don't look close enough, but I really don't ever feel like that's a huge issue with all my other boxes when I get denim boxes. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and finding new and interesting ways to source. If you are interested in any of these items, they'll be linked to my temporary Poshmark closet below. And uh, if you're interested, I do have a Poshmark and a ThreadUp referral code, both for $10. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.